right, we are back. Hey everybody, the bug off is going on now. And in fact, I think it's over relatively soon. It's over in like, I think it's over at 6 p.m. So we've got a little bit of time. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my little revisitation of uh, Animal Crossing City Folk here in my old town. Uh, so what am I gonna do? Well, first of all, we're gonna equip my body with a net. We're gonna change to the blue frame so you can see my beautiful, luscious, manly eyelashes. And I'm gonna put on that shirt, and then I'm gonna remove the hat so everybody can see what a hideous freak I am. Oh, hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Animal Crossing City Folk Video Journal. Today I'm going to prove that I am the greatest bug catcher. God, I hate my hairstyle. But look at that beautiful sunset. Just ignore my ugly face. It's weird how they have like some sort of a checkered texture to the back sky. Don't really know why they did that. Man, you know, one of the best things in Animal Crossing are the sounds of the cicada at night. It's really, really fantastic. That's gonna be a big fish, I bet ya. Jesus, I got all, oh my God, how many, there we go. Let's try to catch this fish. I know that it's not the fishing tournament, but I'm curious. Oh, look at this jerk. Hey, don't go underneath the darn, oh, you jerk, forget about him. Let's just go uh, try to catch some bugs. Well, I guess I should catch one right now to bring to him. This'll do. Gotcha! I caught an evening cicada. It's like, it likes the nightlife. That was a little bit of a weak pun there. That wasn't even, oh, he's back. He thought I gave up on him. I would never give up on you, you adorable little fish, you. That's right, take the bait. I dare you. No, I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. I quadruple dog dare you. Take there, you got it. You want that now, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh, bad. Oh man, I'm I'm bad at fishing though. Come on, don't don't jerk me around, you stupid idiot. I need you. Come on, take the bait. Oh, he's gonna go on this one because five is what they go on. If they don't go by five, they're gonna take it on the fifth. There we go. Boom. It's a little um pro tip for you, by the. Uh, uh, oh, that's a bass. Okay, that's good. I was gonna say a sea bass, but no, that's not to be it. But yeah, fun little fact about Animal Crossing. If a fish nibbles the bait four times, the fifth time they will automatically take it. They don't bite more than five times. It also works in real life. Hey, Nat. Ahem, cough, cough. <clears throat> Good heavens, terribly sorry about that, old bean. I just get so excited about bugs that sometimes I lose myself. Yes. Well, uh, enough of this idle chatter. Are you here to learn about the bug blog, so say? Oh my gosh, I seem to be suffering some sort of a medical condition. Um, oh, bully. Yeah, no, I actually don't want to learn about it. I, I, what is the six o'clock? Yeah, rare bugs, okay. He's a chameleon, got it. Hunter brings a bug off, championship. Teas and toast, got it. Catch the toast and drink the tea. Bulldogs, bulldog, we're hunting for dogs now? I thought it was bugs, what's going on here? Fellow bug lover. Ah, bug lover, you're disgusting, Nat. Keep some things to yourself. Here, I found a bug. Entomologist, I'm an entomologist. Mom, I'm an entomologist. Ah, she can't hear me, she doesn't live here. Um, I caught one. Hergel Burgle Plarg. Uh, let's give him the robust cicada, because it's got a bigger butt. Let's see what he thinks of this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love his eyes. He's got great animation in his eyes. I do believe you've uh, brought a robust cicada. Exquisite. Evaluate this bug. Is it acceptable? Sure. Yes. Evaluate the heck out of that. 11 points. Oh, such an awful shame. It truly is, but I think perhaps a divine... Frobert? How big was Frobert's? 57 points, what? <sighs> Frobert, you disgusting piece of trash. All right, well, let's go kill Frobert. Frobert, you gotta come quick. Somebody's drowning in the uh, river. Get a closer look, Frobert. Fruit beetle. Where's the fruit? Man, that's a really crappy pun. It's not even a pun, like the little where's the fruit? That's the most they could think of at Nintendo of America's translation? I caught a fruit beetle. It's driving me bananas. How about that? I caught a fruit beetle. I can barely uh, deal with it. 
Oh, I fell in a hole, but that was probably deserved based on those horrible puns, but still. Um, I'm trying to find some bugs. Hey, we should go into my museum, and I can show you guys the stuff that I've caught in my life. Uh, we should maybe get some coffee. I know it's summertime, and so coffee... Eh, I don't want to get coffee in summertime. Screw that. That sign looks like it says end, even though it's supposed to just be gibberish. Um, let's go into the... Oh, let's look at the constellations. Remember this? I feel like they should bring this back. Bring back the constellations, but do it better. Let's look through the telescope. Celeste, you adorable little useless piece of uh, owl meat, you. I want to do stargazing. Would you care to look at the constellations or simply peak viewing times? I want to look at them. Hootie toot! Hootie toot! All right, what do we got going on here? I feel like I had... Oh, there's the GameCube. Yay! My GameCube constellation. Aren't I clever? I'm the cl most cleverest constellation person ever. Hey, it's my kite! And there's a star explode. Yeah, it looks like a star exploding, so I called it star explode. What else we got in here? Ooh, what's this? Sunglasses. Sure, why not? That looks like sunglasses, yeah. Is that everything? I feel like I had one called, or somebody had one called my dinghy, and it was a little boat. What's this? Oh, there's the Triforce, as you can see. Ticket, 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 ticket. Anything down here? Man, this is a very... Man, the, it's almost like outer space is very large. There's a lot of room up in outer space. There's the GameCube again. Hey, let's see if we can make one. Can I make one, Celeste? Um, Constellations. I want to make a new one. Hootie toot. All right, guys, let's see what we can make. Oh, I can use my... I can just use the analog stick to do this. Um, do you guys see anything? Do you see any shapes emerging? Um, I'm thinking this. See, this is really hard. This was the hard part about this. How do I erase? Bingo, it's the bow tie. We got it. That's the bow tie. Yeah, that's. The, I remember one of the difficulties with that was trying to make something that looks like something, but also like within those regulations. So this is called bow. Let's call it the bow. It's the bow tinkle. I don't know why, but it is. Bo Tinkle, we just made history. We discovered a constellation. So, does she have an iPad, uh, an iPod bag? Oh, that's a calculator. All right. Man, imagine that. Celeste doesn't get a lot of dates. She hangs out with a calculator. Let's go into my bugs. Hmm. Ooh, it's nice and sunsetty in here. Oh, I got a lot of bugs in here. Oh, look at the firefly and the pond skater. Look at them. Look at them. We got a pond skater, a diving beetle, and a firefly. Where's the diving beetle? I guess he's diving in the water. Oh, there he is. Hee hee. A lot of butterflies over there. I like those lights. Those are cool lights. Emperor Agrias butterfly, orchid mantis. What's on the pond there? Oh, that's the dragonfly. And then look at the little... The little beetle rolling his poop. He's a dung beetle. And they roll it with their butt, by the way. This is true. This is a real fact. They roll the poop with their butt. So they poop it out with their... I, I thought I could get a better view of them from up there, but I can't. They poop, and then they roll it with their butt. And I don't know why they do that. Probably because they're mentally disturbed. Mole cricket. All that good stuff. Look at it. Oh, mole cricket is burrowing. It's pretty nice in here during the sunset. Very calming. I remember I would definitely do that. I would come in here just to relax. That is a bird wing butterfly. That is a, I think, I'm going to say that's a goliath beetle. Let's see if my memory serves me correctly. It is a goliath beetle. 
Where's that mosquito? <gasps> the little snail and the mantis. Once upon a time, there was a snail and a mantis, and they wanted to get married, but their parents weren't having none of that, and they lived a life in sadness because they could not get married. Also, their babies would have looked disgusting and mutated, so it was probably for the better. Ooh, what do we got up in these trees? A monarch, a lanternfly. It's funny, a lot of these things make a really loud, scary noise when you, when you run by. This thing in particular, this um, giant moth, if you're like running around in your town and you don't realize they're there in a tree, they make a really loud noise and they scare the crap out of me. Hey, I should have donated, I should donate my, my crap in the basement. Because I've got some bugs like the tarantula and the scorpion. They're not even donated. And I've got them. Hmm. I love these little ants. Look at those little ants. Let's crush them. Alright, let's get out of here and go look at my fish. This is relaxing. It would be more relaxing if I wasn't such a maniac smashing all the bugs, but still. Ooh, we don't want to. Oh, well, I didn't want to go in there, but it sucked me in anyways. I guess we'll look at my dinosaurs. Oh my God! Did I finish this? Holy cow! G hold on. Good job, former self. I would have never done this in New Leaf. I was too greedy with the money. You got a whole T Rex. Holy cow! What is holding that thing in the air, though? How is that being held in the air? Strings from the ceiling, maybe? I don't know. What is that thing called? Ichiosaurus. If it's so itchy, why doesn't it put some lotion on its skin? Ooh, look at that thing. I like him. He looks like Nessie the dinosaur. Oh, Loch Ness Monster. I believe this back area. Oh, look at this. Do I have every single one? Wow. Ooh, look at this guy. I, I, is that a Brontosaurus? I forget the name of that thing. I used to always just call it the long neck dinosaur when I was little. And I still do. I think I've completed every one of these. Oh my gosh, that's cool. I did not think I did that. Congratulations, Joshy, you stupid idiot. You did it. In fact, I think uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna come back in here and I think this is gonna be the thumbnail for the video. Me with all my proud dinosauruses, my dinosaurus rexes. Look at that. Yeah, nice. Cool stuff, I'm glad that I accidentally got sucked up in there. I feel very proud of myself now, because usually I don't do that. Usually I just sell it because I'm greedy and I want the money. Now let's see what's going on in my fishies. Hello, fishies. Wow, there's a lot of the fish in here as well. I remember these, yeah, these tubes. We would like take a picture of ourselves like this and be like, help me, I'm in the tube. Oh, we got some Popeye goldfish in there. Oh, olive oil, I brung you as a goldfish. Yep, there we go. Popeye goldfish. We got all these guys. Oh, the frog. Look at the little froggy. <laughs> How does he not jump out of the tank? I guess that's probably not something we really need to analyze. What have we got in here? Man, what don't we have in here? You know, one of the things that I love about Animal Crossing is this is actually, like, true to the way the fish would really swim because like the carp and the koi are at the top of the water the little catfish is at the bottom skimming along the sand yeah look at these guys these are like the river fish river bottom nightmare fish thumbs up if you get that reference you probably won't oh this is a neat one this is like very tropical hey it's dory Dory, hi, Ellen. Ooh, I like that little fish. The little like, uh, are those angel fish or something? I forget what it's called. Not an angel fish. Sea butterfly. Look at those things. I kind of want to look at those in real life and see what they look like. Hmm. Well, let's look at the stuff in the back here. There's my hammerhead shark that I donated a great white. The tuna's swimming around real fast. Again, attention to details. Man, did I not give them a great white? Wow, crazy. I have one in my house. I'm a little saddened by that. Oh, look at the octopus in the, uh, in the... 
pots. Yeah. That's a big lobster. <sighs> so relaxing. Animal Crossing, you're a magical beast of a video game. Ding dong, ding dong. Well, we might as well go into my paintings. We've looked at literally everything else, right? We've looked at the constellations, the bugs, the dinos, the fish. Let's see if I was stupid enough to donate any paintings. Paintings are definitely something I've never gotten into. I wonder if anybody... Oh, there's one right there. I wonder if anybody out there... Let me know. Do you donate the paintings? Do you care about the paintings? Yeah, there's a couple there. See, I had this theory I wanted to actually show in an episode of Make Believe... Um, instead of having these boring paintings, I like the idea of paintings being things that people made on your friends list or friends of friends. So, well, friends of friends might get a little risky, but definitely people on your friends list. So you could make your own paintings with a pattern and those would be what show up in your museum and Blathers would display different ones every week. And like every Saturday night, you could go to the museum for a live unveiling of a new painting added to the museum. Um, and I think that would have been really fun and exciting. Obviously, you'd get some people that would do inappropriate paintings, but who cares? There are people on your friends list. You know them. Nintendo doesn't need to police everything. Um, but I think that would have been great. Like a neat little stage and everything, and all the animals are gathered around to see the, the cloth taken off the painting and reveal what it is. And you could name the painting and, and then maybe write a little description of what your inspiration for it was. Uh, I really wish that I could have shown that. Hey, wait a minute! It's Saturday night, which means K.K. Slider would be in here. But I don't think it's late enough. I think he comes at 8. Yeah, he's not in here yet. We'll leave. I'm, uh, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a couple videos. In fact, you might have already seen them. I don't know what time they're going to go up. But I'm going to do some videos that are like compilations of the old Wi-Fi games we played in journals. I think it'll be fun to show those off again. But, uh, yeah... I'm not doing too good at this bug off. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, hey, wait a minute, I could cheat. We could just go, I mean, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat, I'm good. I'm very trustworthy. You stupid idiot. <laughs> All right, I think I used to have patterns there. Obviously I did hack my town a little bit. Um, I only put trees in places that they wouldn't grow. So you'll notice there's a bunch of trees up here. Sometimes I would plant these and it wouldn't grow. So I later, when the hack became available, I hacked it to put the trees where they weren't growing. And uh, I hacked it to refresh my grass because this game has the stupid, you can see it here, has the stupid animal tracks to where you wear down the grass and it just becomes muddy. Really dumb idea. So I would hack it to fix that, but I didn't hack it to really cheat that much. I never got items when I was hacking or anything. Just to fix my grass and put trees where they wouldn't grow. Anyways, any hoodly doodle, let's go downstairs and take some scorpions out of there and go give them to Nat. Yeah, we'll give the lantern fly too. How much room do I have in my pants? We'll give a scorpion here. What are you? What are you? I guess I can pull you out. Oh, you're the, uh, the giant moth thing. Okay. Oh, just killed somebody. Killed? I like... Okay, okay. We take it for granted, but how adorable is it that when you step on a cockroach, they have a little cute cockroach um, spirit. A little cockroach angel floats up. Because they're dead. You killed them. Congratulations. You killed the cockroach. All right. That's another thing I really want to see in the next Animal Crossing. I really want them to make the beach a big part of your town. In New Leaf, they made the beach bigger, but you couldn't really do anything on it. You couldn't build the projects on the beach. So hopefully they change that in the future. Is that a dead cosmos? Are those dead yellow cosmos or orange? They're dead. Okay. <gasps> shoot, shoot, shoot. Is it past six o'clock? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good. Oh, my cheating was almost thwarted by the time. A lantern fly. Let's give him the silk moth. Oak silk moth or whatever. Yeah, get a load of that. Oh, let's see if uh, Frobert can beat that. Oak Silk Moth. Yeah, you're darn right. It's exquisite. Hey, Frobert. Frobert. Come on. Get over here, Frobert. Take, I want you to watch this, Frobert. Check this out. Watch me. And I want to look into your eyes as I demolish your record, Frobert. 85 points? What? 
Oh, yeah, he had 57. I thought he had 90-something. I was going to say, what? Diving beetle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Eh, a diving beetle. How quaint. How humble. How poor of you, Frobert. That's right, Frobert. Yeah. Enjoy that oak silk moth, Nat. I'll, I'll sit here and watch you eat it. That's how happy I am. This one gets, uh, let's see, a lime chair. I have a lime chair now. I've always wanted a sticky bottom. All right, well, that pretty much won it. What time is it? What time is it? Uh, we're not going to see the end of it. I'll let you guys know in the next journal if I won. Um, spoiler alert, I definitely did. I cheated. But you know what? My punishment is my haircut. The way that I look is punishment enough right now. I don't think it could really have gotten much worse than this. The bowl cut. Hey, did you hear that I'm in the lead for the bug off, Tabby? Your bugs can bump up your score. I kind of wish they'd judge one of the most fashionable bug. Oh, she wants to go for fashion. Sweetheart, if this was a fashion competition, you would lose at that as well. So why don't you take your sass and go jump in the river? Yeah, that's right. So long. Yeah, be mad all you want. So I'm pretty much a monster. Hey guys, I think we're gonna end this one here. We had some fun. I will, ooh, look at the moon's coming out. I will be back later in the evening and it will probably be the final uh, journal for me checking back in my city folk town. But there's a few other things I wanted to do, including looking at my old mail. See what people sent me back in the day. So I will see you guys later.